So what's up, though? I'm finally back up today. Got a really quick um duck about video I want to do. So we do a spare bomb exorbitation with EVA. We have the um Angel Gordon, the Angel Gordon Freezer, uh, the Tech Gordon Freezer, and the, uh, uh, the AGL and Int Gordon Freezer, and of course um EZA. So of course we have um tons of windows to yeah, live. Um I got something else live. Um oh Prime Bridal Krillin. Yes, I am hot because it's hot. But um of course though um yeah now because my big tape ale. <laughs> I'm joking that. But of course, yeah, we did get the info, we got the EZA info, we got everything up, everything live, but we'll go over everything really quick, as fast as I can, though. So let's get it. Let's start it. Let's go. You already snow. Ooh, I gotta use that. Let's go. You already snow. I gotta I got love that. Um, but of course, though, we did get a lot of info for Trump as well. Um, you know, it's, it follows the typical EZA rules and stuff like that, of course. Uh, what else up here? Um, yeah, like, you know, typical EZA rules and stuff like that. Or the exposure anger category. It is relatively still new, though, but... It's gonna be kind of difficult because they don't really, really have to make physical units though. They got some good ones like you know Dragon Ball Super Broly, the OG, legendary Super Saiyan Broly, um, Full Power Frieza. Three good units that are still good to this day. They age all age, age really well. Um, and Beerus Platinum Goku has best beers that everybody might not have. But there's still looking, there's still a lot of good units on the category though. But overall, it can't. It will probably be difficult though a little bit overall because. Just like really overall, it's gonna be bad because um again you have to use physical units and that's gonna not be really good in this case anyway. So yeah, of course we have the um, Tech Order Freezer EZA is up as well as live stuff like that. Of course, um and of course we have Ella Prime Battle Quillen, Quillen, Quillen. Eh, the free guy that's freaking stuck in my head. But yeah, of course you you can use free, any type of free to play unit you want, just like some drops and stuff like that. Only characters from drops, um like like story events and stuff like that. Of course, but yeah, there's a lot like really they. Jeez, yeah, there is a freaking lot. I just want to say, there's a lot. Like, jeez, that you can do. Like, they, yeah, free to play. I'd be like, oh yeah, free to play is trash, but they got some of the best good cards in the game. You could probably use LFT Brock if you want to, Game Force. But yeah, um, you yeah, yeah, can't yeah, yeah, LFT Brock. Like, I forgot about that. But of course, right here we have Spare Bones Road Great. No, this is Baron. Um, oh, well, Baron really is good, though. Like, really, no lies, because Cooler, one of the best, I feel like he's like the best aging unit in the game behind Evolution Blue Vegeta. In my opinion, I feel like they're both kind of equal, though. Man, you can't, I can't really affect their inputs. Again, the Everwood's a blue chick from uh, my time, the core. Um, I understand, like, different levels and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, I mean, overall, Baron really isn't that bad. Like, Full Power Frieza and, like, Cooler and him, like, they're all really good, though. Um, of course, you have the side characters, so you can't put them I don't probably recommend going for this Baron, though, because it can both be available on coins. But if you want, I mean, you want to get more coins and stuff like that, if you want to get cooler Full Power Frieza, I don't mind. I mean, it's your coins, your game. But do whatever you want to have fun with it. Of course, there's a of Angle category banner. I really do recommend some for this, even for the shiny glossy LRs. Excellent. Alright, sorry, I um, had to unbox that for a second. Um, but of course, like, I was going to say, like, all the shiny. No, we're just going to Okay, it is. But, um, yeah, I was going to say, like, getting, like, all the new shiny LRs on here. Really? I mean, you, I say double rights barons are better than this. Um, but yeah, because you're going to be getting, like, mainly, like, one of these guys, like, maybe in your multi or whatever. Um, then at the same time, it's like, yeah, like, all these LRs, I know we just got, like, these new. Um, these are relatively new. Um, for our reason, like, all these shiny LRs that I go to, we probably get them later, like, ticket banners. I say ticket, I say wait for, like, ticket banners and, like, um, I want to say, like, type banners and probably say the voice banners, in my opinion, though. But, um, mostly that's how I feel, because, like, you shouldn't really waste your stuff like that, like, some things. It's not really worth it. This kind of, yeah, but, yes, but later on, he's like, nah. But yeah, of course, we have Spur Bomb with Sword Great Trunks. He is really good, though. He can actually super attack, he's gonna raise his ally defense. Uh, attack by 30% for one turn. They, they always do that with your units. They did for, like, it. They did for, like, Tech Vegito. They did for almost every Vegito, like, after you super attack, you know, yeah, I was gonna buff it. But yeah, he's really going to be good to change SCR orbs and orbs. Um, and random changes, random, he's going to randomly change, um, not, he's going to randomly change, randomly change a lot of orbs besides int and SCR. And of course, he's going to be effective against all types. Like he is something on more, and he's going to be good against all my god's enemies. So yeah, it's overall really for Trunks. He really is a good unit, though. Um, he's really good, though. They just updated a few things here and there, like they only can use the ace. Especially this Gordon Freeza. A lot of people really want him to be good. Um, he's already, he's probably ridiculous now. But yeah, like getting him two key and 90% attack, pretty good. I feel like it should be in the start of a turn. Or, um, because, you know, so you won't have to you know, sit there and be like, oh, yeah, it's plus two key and blah, blah, blah. When um, we have like four more key spheres. I mean, you're probably not going to get that sometimes, but um, we get the right links with him. He's probably going to be good, like, on, like, you probably, you can't run him like the album of the Gordon Bridges. So, if you have no other options, you probably wouldn't run this guy for, like, you know, Super Battle Royale and stuff like that. Because these teams are, like, nowadays, these teams are probably 
I was gonna probably start being good for like some of the battle realms, stuff like that, like some of the street food battle realm. Like this freeze up, excuse me. And his golden freeze up, because his golden freeze is good, like, he's gonna be finding like it's like whenever you find a Goku enemy, that's when he can crit to whenever. Like he just auto crit to when he finds a go any Goku enemy. I kinda need to go for that as well. And he's um a good support type unit. So yeah, I do love these type of easy A's. Where they have a the support type unit. As like, you know, support type in the that is gonna be good against another enemy. Which is good though, I like that of course. And this angel Frieza, um Golden Frieza is good as well. He really is a good unit though. Um but overall, yeah, they're both the units are both really good. He's gonna be tanking. I mean as well as good as he did before, but you know, typical stuff like that. Then right here, of course, we have a new LR Prime by Krillin. He does all the LR, LR rules. Um, first thing you do, you need 15 medals, of course. Um, then after that, you need, um, give him some TR, you know, the SSR medals. Then that you get his, um, TR medals. He does follow the, um, same thing as, um, LR Prime by Goku. Um, Vegeta, Frieza, Cell, you need 700, 700 medals. Which really isn't, like, that much of a farm out, though. But if you're doing the grind twice, which you can now, because, you know, the new metal update, you can, um, get more medals. You can actually farm more and equal medals you need. Um, which I always do like, though. I tend to do that a lot. But yeah, you can actually keep a TR version of him if you want to just use him for World Tournament. Because he has, like, you know, he's like, I mean, his links aren't really there. Because he, he managed to be giving himself support and defense and attack. Like, when you're fighting against more enemies, when you're getting ultra super attack. But overall, Krillin really, really is good. Like, this out of Prime Battle Krillin really is good, though. If you want to keep, like, a TR version, you want to use him for World Tournament. Which I probably would do, anyway. Because, um, I always tend to do that stuff, though. I mean, you can't, I mean, of course, you can't use these two guys in the same team. But, I mean, hey, give me a TR version. If you want to just, you know, use the World Tournament, which I probably would do when it comes to global. Probably want to say, what, like, what, five months from now? What, April, May, June, July, August, September? Yeah, I'll say mid-September, he'd probably be there. Yeah, that'll probably be, like, his campaign. Also, this is a new category for Krillin. It's both the Earthling category, but today we're going with Earthling. And uh, I'll say we could get a lot of new cards, like a um, new Oolong, because, like, I mean, we have the SR version of the World Tournament, but, eh. Um, Poir, we could get, like, a new Chao Tzu, like, other, um, Characters from Dragon Ball from Saiyan Saga, like doing a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday thing, then we be all super tight, certain type. I did not know who your mod was gonna be on the category. I know Master Roshi was gonna be on here. I know Tien, but um, yeah, the category again, those gonna be like Explosion of Anger, there's gonna be like all oh, like, full power, transformation boost, it's just gonna get better with time and age. So, yeah, it was gonna be overall. I mean, of course, right now it's kind of meh. But overall, they do have good units like Ella Yamcha, this Boma is still pretty good if you don't have any other, any other options. This guy could be, should be available because he was with Dragon Ball Fusions. Um, I don't know when they ever make their update again, I don't know. Um, Launch is still good, this mod is really good for Super Battle Road, this Kerlin is still good, this Boma is good, this, um, yeah, um, yeah, I'll get a few good hidden gems here and there, like for Hercule, Master Roshi, Jack and June. But yeah, like a really good, a few good hidden gems there. Yeah, so that's all I really want to go over today. We got um, Ella Prime Battle, Quirlin, alive in the game, of course. It we have LR Prime Battle Krillin in the game, of course we have the two new easy A's, so the new units and stuff like that, of course, they're all really good though, they're all really, all really good, so if you need to some stuff out, you can, we do have a few more hours until the LR Shell campaign comes on global, and it's just with Vegeta, we'll go over those all in one video as well, but hopefully I got everything, you know, out the way and stuff like that. What is I don't know. Anymore. So yeah. All that's really want to go though today. Again those spear bombs order race trumps EZA is live. The game, go do it, go do it now. But um overall, really is a good unit though. But um yeah. That's all the video ain't more longer. So yeah. Oh see you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great life, all the good junk. See you guys later though. Peace out.